Right, hello everyone, Vortex here. Now, the next few videos that I'm going to be doing will be some unofficial PC ports of old retro games, and I'm going to be showing you how to set them up and play them. And in this video, it's going to be Super Mario 64 from the Nintendo 64, obviously. So, what you're going to need is SM64 PC Builder, or Builder 2. Um, you also need MySys 2 and obviously a copy of the ROM itself, and I'll, that I can't provide for obvious reasons but the, obviously the other tools you'll need I can provide those in a zip which will be in the discord and then you also need uh, .NET Framework 4.8 runtime so I may already have that, I'm just going to run that and see yeah, so I've already got a, yeah that's fine so that's good, okay, so um first thing we're gonna do then is run this one, the MySys two. So yep. Next specify the directory. Um actually I'm gonna change that to D just because I'm running low on space in the C drive. Um, you know, we could have a start menu shortcut. Let it do its thing. <laughs> any sound of any parts where it's dragging a little bit, I can just edit it out. Not a problem, and I can just let you know how long it takes, roughly. <laughs> so right now we're stuck at f ah, I was about to say we're stuck at fifty percent, but it just shot and did it. So yeah, uh, don't need to you know edit anything. And okay, so yeah, finish. Let it run now. Uh, well, I probably don't need to run it now whatever. Um, so now the SM64 PC build, I've extracted that into there. So now we can start that. Yep, let me check for updates. Yeah, if, if the antivirus pops up or anything, just get it to ignore it. There's always a, a possibility that it could flag up. But nothing to worry about. Okay. Now what are we doing? Still going through everything. I didn't actually need to confirm, I wanted it to update, it's just done it all itself, so very user friendly.
Right, okay guys, that bit's done. That took a few minutes, but now we can see we're on this screen, so... Um, what we need to do is select a repository, select the version of what we're going to install. So we've got Moon64, which is a fan-made game with new levels. We've got Render96EX, which is well, it's kind of a remake. And uh, not too sure what Saturn is, or um, some of the others. But yeah, I'll tell you the ones I do know. So the, obviously SM64 port. That's just a standard vanilla without mod support. We've got SM64 uh, EX. So that's vanilla. You know the standard vanilla plus mod support. And um, Got SM64 RT. That's uh, that's with ray tracing. That'll be interesting. I've got a GPU that can handle that, so it's probably going to be the one I'm going to choose. Um, if I've missed anything, oh, yeah, SM64 EX co-op. So that's up to a four-player online co-op. So yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. But I'm going to choose this video, that one, because I have a supported GPU. Yay! Okay. And yeah, so I'll just click download. Now I've got to choose the ROM. And it said a US one. Now I've put in that folder the EU one, but that's fine because I've got a US version as well. As I say, I can't provide links to ROMs, but there's, you know, easy ways of getting hold of them. Just use Google. That's all I can say on that. So I'm going to choose that one. And then we just wait and let it do its thing. Right, okay guys, so that bit's done, that just took a few minutes. Um, so, now... On the next part, so we're just going to... Uh, I don't think there's anything else to select, yeah. It's just because it's gone over everything else because obviously I've chosen the ray tracing thing, so now we can just click compile. Right, what do we need to do here? Go back through the text with look for red, white, grey or non rainbow text errors. Make sure the problem you're having isn't already addressed in the. Uh, so, what have, I, what have I missed? Okay, so it's basically it's uh, saying the antivirus is getting in the way. So well, I think calling it garbage is a little bit harsh, but I get the point. It will fuck up the install. So if I can just if you just bear with me, guys, while I um try and you know get this put in the exclusions and once I've done that I'll be back right okay so we've corrected that I've put those on the exclusions and then 
I don't press any key until I follow, well, I follow the instructions. Uh, And now what's it going to do? Is it doing anything? I don't know. Right, so now I've, I've sorted that out, I'm, I'm just going to have to go over this again, so rerun that. So, oh, so it's, yeah, we're back at this part, so I'm just going to click compile again. Looking a bit more promising this time. Oh, hang on, that got some other errors. Now what? All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so yeah, after spending a lot of time trying to sort that out, I've finally come to the conclusion that that ray tracing version currently does not work. Um, there was some known issues with it, which I've just read about. Um, apparently, there was a workaround where you could just like roll back the version of my 64 to an older version to make it work and you know it involves like a lot of commands and stuff which I've tried and it no longer works which it said it might not do because the version of it is just basically too new so yeah it's just a case of waiting for a fix for that so what I have done instead I've gone with a version um, that was just the vanilla version but with mod support and that's uh, compiled successfully, so yeah, we're gonna try that one. So, click OK. It's me, Mario. Yeah, as you can see, it's launched. Uh, have me control it. And yep, controller works perfectly. been nice to have seen this ray tracing but never mind. It's my luck with a lot of things. I think Google that looks good, that shows that version and no, it didn't work. Not any way I can skip the cutscene. No, probably not. So you move around with the analog stick, and then you can move the camera with the right stick. Okay, very smooth, very smooth. Yeah, 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 baby. yeah, yeah, whatever. Want to go into the castle? Hi Toad. Yeah, 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 but, uh, but whatever. Oh, 
Here. I'm not going to play through the first level, I'm just going to load it. You see if it loads it okay. If it loads fine. Okay. So yeah, it all looks pretty good to me. So yeah, pause it there, so yeah that's pretty much it then, that is how you get a PC port of Super Mario 64, so yeah, um, got there in the end, unfortunately not the ray tracing version that I was after, but still works flawlessly nonetheless, but yeah, oh, very quick guys, just to add before I end the video, um, so if you close the game as I have done now, and you want to obviously relaunch it again, all you have to do is go into repose, and it'll be the folder um, that I created for you before in my case this one SM64EXE sorry EX-Nightly open that go into build US underscore PC and then just run this file here as you can see it launches see, again Mario. no problem so yeah that's pretty much it anyway yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one